test. One, two, three. Are we live? Ah, oh, there we are again. Oof. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, gang. Um, so we just had a little bit of technical difficulty. My modem had to be reset. Uh, hopefully we won't cut out again. Hey, you all. Lark Bark. Jalen, how are you doing? So just to get everyone caught up. Uh, hello, Chicho. Hello, Sleepy Waves. How are you doing? So for some reason, my modem cut out. Uh, we're about 15 minutes late on this <laughs> live stream. We did like two minute intro and it got killed. Uh, I had to reset the modem. Um, I checked my other computer as well and that got disconnected as well. So I knew it was a modem problem. So reset the modem, unplug everything, reconnect everything. Uh, hopefully we won't get cut out again. Um, if we do get cut out, it's most likely uh, the feds on you. <laughs> you try, trying to get off offline, maybe. Hello, Elder God, how are you doing? We're about to reveal some secrets of the banking system, of uh, the insanity going on. So maybe they don't like it. <laughs> I doubt if we're that important to them. They will do what they will do, right? Uh, and what they have planned to do when all fails power off and power on indeed 100% so I had to sort of check the other computer make sure it was the modem so uh, reset the modem hopefully we won't get cut off again um, fingers crossed we'll see we'll see uh, if we do I will try to get back on again uh, but uh, if I can't get back on again it's some technical difficulties from the ISP, I guess, uh, the service provider. Uh, but just to um, tell you what this is about, uh, we are uh, right now on uh, Tuesday, March 14, 2023. And we're about to do a math live stream, right? Math tutoring session live stream. And this message right here is really important, gang. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, the publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. Something that we desperately, desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange on Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2. Right. And I was saying, uh, today is March 14th, 2023. Uh, beware the Ides of March, right? Uh, I mentioned the previous two-minute intro, so we better watch out for the Ides of March. It is the Ides of March somewhere uh, across the sea, across the sea. Uh, where Julian Assange is, we're uh, eight hours ahead. Uh, you guys are eight hours ahead in the UK. So we're getting close. We're getting close to the Ides of March, and uh, hopefully Julian Assange will be freed uh, sooner rather than later if collectively as human beings we finally understand what the game is at play but we'll see maybe this presentation here what we're about to discuss today will shed some light into the shenanigans of what's going on in the world uh, specifically in relation to investing in personal finance uh, something that's that's basically non-existent uh, from centralized indoctrination centers, education centers, if you want to call them, schooling, um, in my part of the world anyway, right? Eduardo, I was just watching James Colbert documentary on the Federal Reserve, was half asleep the whole time. <laughs> Your subconscious is absorbing that. And uh, James Cor uh, Corbett, fantastic. He's a Canadian by, as well, by the way, living in Japan. And uh, he's put out a lot of amazing work. Um, I followed his work a lot and I still uh, do uh, sort of check in with him every now and then but I followed his work a lot 10 plus years ago right a uh, long time ago uh, late 2000s uh, early 2010s late 2000s really uh, is uh, how long I've uh, known about his work he came online a couple of years after I did and those were amazing times uh, 2000s right it's only seven hours at the moment. Oh yeah, it's only seven hours at the moment. That's right. I have an extra hour before the knives come out nice. <laughs> Eduardo, I hope I got uh, something about debt and big powerful people working in secrecy. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit about that. What's going on? 
Okay, so today we got our math tutoring session number 84 plus going on right now. And initially what we're going to do, we're going to uh, continue, on, continue on with our discussion on uh, trigonometry, uh, what we did last week, uh, because we'd laid down the foundation for trig. Someone came on and they wanted to talk about trig and um, we sort of give a nice little intro to trigonometry and I mentioned that we would continue with that but because of the bank runs that happened uh, last week Thursday and Friday and over the weekend in the United States uh, I thought it was a good opportunity to uh, talk about investing in personal finance and sort of give a nice little intro to uh, what it implies J pal happy pie day chicho and all is it pie day again we had pie day last year <laughs> Awesome, happy Pi Day, three, three point one four, one five, and I'm not even sure about the one five, right? <laughs> happy Pi Day, happy almost Ides of March or Ides of March, and from, uh, it's from Julius Caesar, beware the Ides of March, right? From Shakespeare. Uh, but I think one of the reasons they, they say we wear the Ides of March is because the weather is chaotic. We're coming out of winter, going into spring. So you can have snowstorms, windstorms, uh, thunderstorms, rain. Thunderstorms, not so much, depending on where you are. But lots of rain. It can, go co it can be cold. It can be hot. It can be sunny. It can be cloudy. So beware the Ides of March. The weather is going crazy, right? It's super cool. Nice time of year, right? It's almost like we're going in circles, and Arnold says, "Awesome, awesome, awesome." Uh, 2067, 2067. I just watched that movie, twenty sixty seven. By the way, it was nice sci fi. I was being trash talked a little bit, but I enjoyed it. Uh, twenty sixty seven, just time travel, sci fi B movie. Nick Lucerno, Lucerno. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to our live stream, Nick. You on raw milk? No, um, I drank raw milk, but I don't really drink milk. Uh, I eat yogurt, lots of yogurt and cheese. I eat lots of yogurt and cheese and butter. Sorry, Elder God. I got cheese there, dates and apples. Okay. So the cheeses, uh, I forget what they are. They're two different types of cheeses. Uh, this one's Havarti, I think. Is it Havarti? Could be Havarti. This one's something else. Drier, wetter, softer. Uh -huh. I was munching on this when I was resetting the modem, waiting for it to uh, re kick in. What about raw meat, sir? Raw meat? No. I don't want to eat raw meat. Hell yeah, raw cheese is good. Cheese is amazing. Elder cause like we're vomiting. You drink it? No, I'm not. Uh, I've cut back on my alcohol consumption. In the summertime, when we start doing cigar streams, we'll, we'll kick it up. Uh, it's uh yeah i love my cheese i love my cheese yum yum cheese butter and yogurt that's the dairy i eat raw meat uh raw meat uh, some people do uh right it's a delicacy uh in the arab world uh, arab habit, the french habit, steak tartare right um is there raw meat uh, i know some people i've had friends that eat or a friend that eats r raw liver um, I wouldn't do it. I saw her like take a liver like this beef liver and just munch it down while we're doing barbecues like wow Well sushi. Yeah, sushi raw fish, but with raw fish you uh, sushi you need to They freeze the fish I think for three days or something uh, to kill uh, the Parasites in it and then you can eat it uh, If they don't do it prep it properly, you might get worms and stuff so Ronnie, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Gang, while we wait for notifications to go out, I guess, hopefully they went out again because uh, we had to restart. Um, let me give you guys my little intro uh, for who I am and what we are and what we're doing. Uh, uh, panic, yeah, there are a lot of parasites. A good chance you get food poisoning uh, if you don't eat it at the right place. Lucky in my part of the world, we have good sushi places. Nah, you don't want the parasites. Actually, we're full of parasites anyway. Gang, if you don't know what this work is about, I'm on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. We do also have a subscribe star page, Substack page, 
and we are live streaming on Twitch. For those of you that are supporting us work on these platforms and more, we do have a bunch of people supporting us on SensorTube with SensorTube membership and support coming from different places. Gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing and I appreciate it very much. We do have a gilded server. You're definitely welcome to join us there and share information, continue discussion from the live streams or start new ones and just share information. Uh, open platform. Uh, Panic, do you play chess? I used to play a lot of chess when I was a kid, uh, when I was much, much younger. Uh, but I stopped playing chess a lot. I, I, And I've always played a lot of backgammon. So backgammon is a game that I sort of uh, navigated towards, right? When is the last time you drank uh, your cheese? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. I've gone through periods where I don't drink for a couple of years and stuff. I don't think I'm going to stay that long away from it, but just a few weeks. Uh, yummy, yummy, Ronnie. I've been buying a lot of crypto over the last few years. Honestly, I'm surprised by the recent rise in price given the bank failures. Well, it's a place. It's a people are considering a safe place. There's a couple of reasons why cryptos, uh, bitcoins, kicked off. Right. First of all, people needed to park their money somewhere because there's bank runs. And this is something we're going to talk about. There's bank runs, so they're not they're not feeling safe with the money in the bank, so they rather put it in Bitcoin, right, or other cryptos, stable coins maybe, right, private private coins, right. Um, better that than having your assets bailed in, your funds bailed in or disappeared, right? Um, because the bank runs that we saw last week, uh, in the last three four days, uh, that's not the end of it right uh, the other reason is people are, are under the assumption that interest rates are going to continue uh, they, they're not going to be rising right so if they're not going to be rising then people are hoping that maybe they'll drop because there's panic in the markets people are freaking out because oh and we're going to talk about this specifically right I'm just giving a little teaser on this uh, so they're expecting interest rates to either freeze or drop hence more inflation what type of inflation is just going to be, which is insane right now, you know, anywhere between seven, eight, nine, ten percent inflation per month. That's in unbelievable, right? Or or year over year, whatever it is, right? It's not their two percent target, or is it going to hyperinflate, right? Um, we'll talk about this. My take is they're not going to stop raising interest rates. I think interest rates are going to go off. I think this is a head fake. Uh, to a certain degree I think people uh, are under assumption that uh, centralized power is on their side it is not it is not so keep that in mind keep that in mind panic I was I was the best at backgammon I I'll, I'll beat anybody in backgammon hopefully we got to play one day hopefully I I play a lot of backgammon I'm an ex I'm a phenomenal backgammon player phenomenal backgammon player Ronnie, I hope it uh, decouples finally, possibly. Cheryl, how are you doing? Happy Pi Day, Cheryl. Happy Pi Day. Someone said it's a cyclic thing. <laughs> Eduardo said it's like it happens in cycles or it keeps on coming around. What did Eduardo say? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, it's Pi Day, Pi Day, Steve Waste, Chicho. Uh, yesterday you said they may uh, kick up interest rates again. How long until they, they do so? Or what? would cause them to raise them again uh, multiple reasons multiple reasons uh, we're in a war cycle they need a strong dollar right they want to show that uh, for the United States currency is strong and stable and uh, and it's a good good reserve currency to have right uh, markets don't like the higher interest rates which is what we're going to talk about okay uh, gang uh, we do announce these live streams 30 minutes 45 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Minds, VK, Gab, Parler, and Getter. You're definitely welcome to follow us on those platforms. And for live streams where we don't have any visuals, we do do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast. And mods, thank you very much for being here. Uh, thank you for the support. I hope you're enjoying the content. You're going to love this one. Okay, I hope so. 
I hope so. So salute to the mods, gang. Salute to the mods. Uh, panic. I used to play backgammon during classes with online dice. Eight hours a day. Eight hours a day. Yeah. I've, I've had multi-hour uh, backgammon sessions, 12-hour backgammon sessions and stuff like this. Uh, heavy, heavy, heavy games. Heavy games. Gang, yeah, let me take these guys down. So I'm assuming notifications have gone out. Um, we might have lost some people because the stream kicked off. So I don't know if uh, announcement goes on again. Uh, it's supposed to, but I've noticed that it doesn't every now and then. Uh, but either way, hopefully people will run in. Hopefully we won't have to do too much review of what's going on. Hopefully the stream will not get killed. Uh, we won't lose our, um, our connection again. Uh, but let's do this for this math tutoring session let's talk about investing in personal finance right because again it's something that is completely lacking in our education systems indoctrination centers centralized indoctrination centers in my part of the world so people are going into this stuff blind and you know they're getting burned okay especially kids coming out of high school where you know they get convinced to take on uh, huge loans huge debt not understanding interest rates not understanding markets not understanding money uh, the economy or anything like that and how everything is so connected right and then all said and done uh, in about five years, three years, five years, ten years, whatever, they realize they're heavily in debt, indebted, and uh, they don't really have a way out, uh, which is very problematic. Very problematic, Ronnie <laughs> Wall Street bets. We did, we did, and let me give you this. Now, we're definitely going to be taking out this segment from this full live stream. And if you're watching this segment right now, there's a full live stream. There's salutations at the beginning. I don't know what's going to come afterwards and stuff like this. But I'm going to try to condense this in maybe an hour presentation or 45 minutes or however long it takes, right? Hopefully, it won't take longer than that. I might cut some corners to make sure it's digestible. Okay. But what you need to do, what you need to do is not do, but highly recommend it that. We've put out two videos that are related to what we're about to talk about okay what we're about to talk about here is a video that we put out okay it's called understanding i titled on the as you can see that's the thumbnail for it right understanding uh current events and let me give the link to the people in the live stream and what i titled this video as uh, I named it watch this video to understand current events geopolitics the markets investing and more and it's ASMR nice and chill the way we're doing right now and I put m1 in there because it's related to the m1 money supply so here's the link and this goes to my patreon page because uh, this video is available on BitChute, rumble and sensor tube and I synced up Odyssey and SensorTube after we put out this video. So hopefully it's available on Odyssey as well. I do need to take a look at it to see if it's available on there. And we put this out in February 2021, two years ago. Okay. So this video we put out two years ago. And here's another video that is connected to this. And we put this out around the same time. So someone mentioned GameSpot. Off. this is uh, another video we put out regarding uh, the markets what was happening with the GameStop uh, stock share with naked short selling and stuff like this and uh, the thumbnails for this says uh, Wall Street GameStop and Wall Street bets what it all means and here's a link again to the patreon page that we put out with links to BitChute, Rumble and Odyssey that's where the video was uploaded and most likely will be on um, sorry on sensor tube and most likely will be on Odyssey as well and I titled this video understanding Wall Street and the action on GameStop Wall Street bets what it all means live segment and again this is a part of a live segment the way we're doing right now and this is the link for it 
and you can find the link for these uh, for the videos on these um, on these uh, two links right both videos uh, I would say for this video uh, the top video is more important to watch because this is about money supply right this is about interest rates and uh, I forget who it was I think it was sleepy waves two days ago when we were doing um, our other live stream we we're talking about investing in personal finance sleepy waves asked uh, to give a better explanation of what interest rates are right and I you know went off on a little two-minute rant or something like this five minute rant I can't remember and in that rant the, sh the shortest the quickest quickest uh, explanation of what interest rates are interest rates are you can think about it as the cost of money how much it costs you to get money right that's the that's the best way to think about it right so when interest rates are zero it costs you nothing to get free money right you they just give you money here here's money pay us back whenever no interest right okay that's free money when interest rates are zero when interest rates go negative they're giving away money and you better do something with it because the money's losing its value all the time right when interest rates go up it means it costs you money to get money right there's a certain cost associated for getting a certain amount of funds okay important to keep this in mind the top video goes through this and talks about some of the implication of the money dump that occurred in the last two years and we're gonna talk about this as well okay so I'll have the links in the description of this video after the fact when it's been uploaded okay Ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, Chicho would you ever tutor someone privately on how to play the markets obviously I would pay you for each class I feel like I've been watching your stream for years but I still haven't fully gotten a grip on anything now here's the kicker sleeper waves uh, it's like poker to be able to get a become a good poker player you can't just sit and watch and you can't not play for just no money you have to be in the markets begin trading to understand what's going on uh, I do tutor privately I'm, I'm not really uh, interested to tell you the truth right now to because I'm not in the markets I'm not interested in trading right now I mentioned I'm you know I pull go in and out of the markets but I mentioned that uh, when I pulled out uh, what was it uh, I forget how many months ago I said okay I'm not playing it but if I was playing it I'll be short right uh, long certain things but mainly short so it, it, it's a cycle you need to learn uh, and by the way everybody cannot be a trader everybody cannot be a trader a lot of people don't have the capacity to become a trader so keep that in mind trading is just something you can learn how to do and some people are not uh, are not made for that a lot of people are not made for that right uh, you have to disconnect yourself from your emotions okay Ronnie Chicho do you feel the US dollar should never have been unpegged uh, to the gold standard um, <laughs> they had no choice they printed so much in 1971 71 72 73 when did it occur 71 I think Nixon did it uh, people came calling for gold uh, bringing back money saying give us gold this says paper says we can redeem this for gold <laughs> and the US said get lost <laughs> we don't have that much gold to give you so they unpegged it and then they pegged it to uh, the petrodollar right made it a petrodollar uh, it, it, it it's too late to peg it against gold now like you can't do it it's impossible okay uh, with a new system coming up possibly uh, but right now it's no man's land right now is no man's land okay uh, so gang let's talk about what just took place last week on Thursday and what was the date on this Thursday uh, March 9th uh, 2023 and here's here's the one the company that we're going to talk about let me let me put this up this is uh, Silicon Valley this is a chart of Silicon Valley for five-year chart for Silicon Valley 
uh, bank financial group, right? It was considered to be, I think, the 17th largest bank in the United States at the time, which was last week, right? It was rated as uh, five years in a row as one of the most solid banks by Forbes, I believe. It highly regarded by every financial advisor you can think of in every banking financial firm you can think of people praising this thing left and right left and right considered to be it, it was basically like triple a um, subprime mortgages that they were selling in the early 2000s right uh, before people realized the Securities Exchange Commissions and all these rating companies that rated these mortgages as triple A were just BSing, right? They were lying. It's the same type of thing that happened with, to a certain degree, not, not as much. Madoff was a different game, but in regards to uh, how the financial system is run in the United States of America, it was pretty much the same thing, the same problems you see with. Um, Silicon Valley Bank as you did with Madoff right so for example Madoff scam occurred right and uh, they brought on the the securities exchange person that was supposed to be the watchdog watching over uh, you know the Madoff type of funds and they put her on the stand and asked her hey what's going on how come you didn't see this happening and she said and she cried on the stand this is government <laughs> government watchdog right that's supposed to be protecting regular Joe Blow me and you from scams like Madoff and the uh, savings and loans in the 1980s and the subprime mortgage crisis and this is related what's going on right now with silver um, a Silicon Valley Bank is related to interest rates and bonds and and uh, flushing money down the toilet really and people doing things which zero thought involved with them they, they put her on the stand asked her well, how could Madoff get away with this for multiple years to the tune of 50 billion dollars right and she cried on a stand and said the math was too hard for me to understand right which is why we're doing this right the math was too hard, according to the government regulator that was supposed to be watching over the Madoff scam, cried on the stand saying the math was too hard for her to understand what was happening. So they said it was a good good investment, right? Good fun to put your money in, right? Same type of excuses came up for the subprime mortgage crisis, same type of excuses that are being laid out right now for Silicon Valley Bank and the multiple other banks, I think three other banks have uh, also failed. Two or three other banks have also failed in the last few days. And this could be the tip of the iceberg if the Fed is going to continue to raise interest rates, which in my opinion, to a certain degree, they are because they need a strong dollar. And the repercussions of this will be more consolidation in the banking industry where the bigger banks are going to gobble up all these little smaller banks. Now, Sil uh, Silicon Valley Bank wasn't that small. I mean, if you want to see what the market cap of Silicon Valley Bank was if you go all the way down here you see up here you see something there's previous close year range and then market cap you see market cap was 6.28 billion dollars right and uh, um, oh God, the math was too hard <laughs> go get drunk because indeed so market cap when it was at trading at 106 dollars and by the way this is a screen cap I grabbed for Thursday okay uh, and the stock was down 60% on Friday pre-market uh, the stock was down another 50% so it was trading around $50 and it never opened up so in pre-market if you could dump your shares you saved a little bit of your money right otherwise the, the stock didn't trade anymore and if you had stock in this in this company done zero right so right now on Thursday when I guess the poop hit the fan the stock was trading at 106 dollars and its market cap was 6.2 billion dollars if you go back a year right right the same uh area on the table down here in the top you see your year range 
the high for the year was around six hundred dollars and if we say this was at a hundred dollars right if the stock was trading the screen cap that we have right now at a hundred dollars was worth six billion dollars multiply that by six so this thing a year ago was worth 36 billion dollars right the market capitalization on it and the year it went down to what you see here the day before this it was down 60 percent it was trading like a week before this was trading around 320 dollars right so triple what you're seeing right now okay and a few hours before and a few couple of days before the management of this bank were selling their shares dump 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 and they sent out bonuses a few hours to the management uh, before the stock before you see what happens here right before the stock was halted right before the government took over the bank right they were sending out bonuses to management so please appreciate that this didn't come out of the blue this was known what was going on P people this was it insiders knew what was going on and as i mentioned with this video doop, doop, let me put it up here this video that we put out in 20, february 2021 at the beginning of uh, 2021 right two years plus two years and three months two years and two months ago we talked about what was about to happen with the banking system with the institutions with with the markets with inflation right we talked about what this was going to do right so we knew and if you've been following the videos we've been doing personal finance investing trading and all this stuff and current events stream, you know what we knew right and the investments that the management at this bank was doing went contrary to what we're do what we were saying but when the shit was about to hit the fan the management was selling all their stock so they're pulling out their monies okay we'll talk about this we'll talk about this so that's sort of the intro of what we're about to do okay i'm just going to read the chat for uh, a couple of seconds uh ronnie too many institutions have excellent credit uh, credit but i'm sure they're far from being excellent indeed indeed uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna read these things really quick, right? Uh, Lextab, they were like 16th biggest bank or something, quite big. Yeah, they were the 17th, I believe, largest bank, and considered to be one of the five years in a row considered to be one of the most stable banks according to Forbes magazine, right? That tells you how deep the scam goes. Okay, Ch -ch -ch -ch. Ronnie, exactly. Uh, SVB sold millions of dollars of shares, indeed, and they took out bonuses. The CFO or something, chief sold uh sold like 30 percent of the thing and he here's the thing if you want to know how 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 corrupt this whole thing is here's a link here's a link i'm going to link it up in the chat i'll link it up in the description of this video as well okay this this is one of the um one of the management that was working for uh silicon valley bank right joseph gentile is the chief administrator officer of svb right in his resume like little intro he was involved with lehman brothers which was involved in the uh the subprime mortgage uh, uh crisis in the mid 2000s and basically involved in one of the greatest scams in u.s history right and if you i read the comments in this link to this post and this guy was actually involved with arthur anderson as well which was connected with enron so this management top management was involved with enron and the subprime mortgage uh, crisis crisis scam right and now this one and he got his bonuses he got he got everything that he wanted to get right so keep this in mind one of the reasons we have to hold people accountable which why we constantly every 15 minutes we have a little comment coming on saying free assange free assange free assange why because julian assange publisher and journalist has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity to me and you right transparency and accountability we have one person here that was involved in the last 20 years 
right now considered to be three of the largest collapses in US history, right? Enron, supply mortgage collapse, and Silicon Valley Bank, the same dude was in top management, right? What are we doing with people like this who are reporting, who are trying to bring us, bring, shine a light to this darkness? We have them sitting in jail in the UK with the US government, UK government, Swedish government, and the Australian government colla collaborating to torture a person that is trying to shine a light on this darkness, right? Insanity, insanity, right? Keep this in mind, keep this in mind extremely important right so let's with that intro given right uh, sorry about the long intro because you have to appreciate that this is a very uh, I wouldn't say intricate but it's a long-term game at play right the end result by the way is going to be consolidation of more power centralization of more power elimination of smaller local banks with all the funds going to centralized banking and the rollout of centrally uh, central bank digital currencies where they're trying to eliminate cash and basically enslave humanity right these same people that have done this scams 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 with regulators that don't know the mathematics cry on the stand saying they didn't understand the mathematics so they gave it a triple a rating okay these same scammers and these same incompetent people want to centralize currency centralize the way me and you do commerce limit our capacity to do commerce okay limit our capacity to do business control every aspect of what we do tax the living crap out of it right take more and more so they can pay out themselves more and more okay keep this in mind the root of the problem which is why this stuff is not taught in centralized indoctrination centers because they want slaves continue to fund this scam to fund this Ponzi scheme right what the buck oh seven first time chat hey everyone Chicho you damn man you demand thanks and welcome to our live stream welcome to our live stream gang I'm gonna stick with it let's let's get into uh, get into it Chicho let's get into it that's the that's the intro now gang if you took a look at this video we put out two years ago okay I'm gonna give you a really quick lowdown on this okay this was this video was basically I called it I'm gonna say it again I'm called it watch this video to understand current events geopolitics the markets investing and more okay so here's the kicker here is what the the sort of what was laid in front of us before the Silicon Valley Bank thing occurred right so basically uh, the Federal Reserve uh, and the government the Federal Reserve prints the money the government spends the money all right so the government was spending a lot why because in 2020 2020 right we had something take place in the world where the world went into lockdown the economy they centralized power ground the economy to a halt right and then in 2021 from 2020 to 2021 they started pumping money into the system started pumping money into the system this is a gigantic dollar sign we're not talking about a little bit of money 10 percent of what was there um the amount of money if you watch that video if you watch that video you understand that 40 percent of the total money supply that they had put out into the market okay for the last hundred years was put out during this period right wow 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 now all the way to 2022 
Okay, more money printing, more money printing, more money printing, more money printing, more money printing. Interest rates at near zero. Interest rates near zero. In Europe, they were negative. Okay, in Europe, they were negative. So this is the money they're printing up. Lots of money, 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 lots of money. And we're going into 2023. And money printing sort of tr started trickling down in the mid 2020s, right? They started tapering, 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 which means they started taking money out of the system, out of the system, even though. In February 24, 2023, uh, 2022, we had a war begin, right? So there was another major event taking place, right? So energy prices going through the roof and stuff like this. So what happened here while this stuff was going on, interest rates stayed flat. Interest rates flat. Interest rates flat. 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 flat flat this is when at the beginning of 2021 where we put out the videos right this video this video and this video we put out talking about the free money and stuff like this what would what that was going to do and you can see at the top in the top right where, where is it if you go all the way to the end you'll see you'll see a chart like this the money supply going like this going like this going and then it went like this right this was money being pumped into the system oh you're not seeing that so let me take these guys down oops sorry so basically went like this one like this and this is the money supply m1 the fast money they call it right this is money and this is time right time money and in a year time boom, they pumped in this much money into the system now when we made that video in 2021 we said this is going to bring on inflation this is a lot of money a lot of money into the market right they gave this money to wall street they gave this money to billionaires they gave this money to major corporations okay and they gave handouts crumbs they threw it to the masses you could sit at home and collect money right this continued by the way after we did that video in 2021 this continued this continued okay this continued in 2022 or so they started tapering they started taking a little bit of money out of the system all right throughout this whole period interest rates stayed flat zero basically zero zero or near zero right flat 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 and at about mid to 2021 interest rates started going up maybe a little bit earlier right interest rates started kicking up kicking up kicking up kicking up okay keep this in mind keep this in mind okay and this here is 2020 I should have lined it up here so let's line it up so you see we can line everything up who did the bailout with this money during the pandemic uh, the government the bureaucrats right so let's lay this out here so we had well the money supply would be this how do we do this here's the dollar right m1 right and the money was flat money was flat forever 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 a little bit up in uh, in the mid 2000s right it would be sort of back here I guess it would be like this it would be like this and then here it just went through the roof right just astronomical astronomical now ask who did the government bail out the government most of this money went to Wall Street and went to billionaires okay small percentage i haven't looked into the percentage of how much but like exactly i don't have it handy right now i should have had that handy but it was like six trillion dollars or ten trillion dollars like 
a lot of money, right? So six trillion dollars. Let's kick it down a notch. So six trillion dollars, right? Six trillion dollars. Huge chunk of that went to went to companies money laundering through Wall Street and billionaires. Okay. Now, this is important. This is important. Okay. Why is this important? Because this continued. This continued. This continued, this continued, this continued, and and then started tapering off, right? Started tapering off. Okay. Now, remember, interest rate zero, 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 and then they started going up. Okay. They they're right now sitting at four percent. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Around four percent, maybe let's say around four percent. So right now, interest rates four percent. Actually, it's not 4%, it's like 3.75 prime, right? Prime is what banks, how much banks can get money for. Me and you couldn't get 0% interest, by the way. This is, if, if you did a, a special deal where you bought cars and stuff, you could get 0% interest if you bought a car and stuff back then, right? But this is 0% interest for, and in Europe, negative for big money. They can get it from the government. Right, from <laughs> Federal Reserve, right, Central Bank. Here, have some free money. I wish I could line up for that to get some free money, right? But right now, let's say, what is it, three point seven five percent, four percent? Let's round it up, four percent, right? Four percent, four percent. And before last week, right? Before last week, right? Before Silicon Valley Bank last Thursday, people are still expecting or were still expecting interest rates to kick up, right? Because the Federal Reserve was kicking this stuff up hard. All central banks were kicking it up hard. 0 0.75, 0 0.75, three basis points, two basis points. And last time they raised one basis point, right? 0.25%, uh, uh, right? If you want to buy a home in Colombia, the bank charges you 12% here. Even bigger crooks out there. And it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Okay. So this is what is at play with uh, Silicon Valley Bank, right? Because what just took place was this. Here's Silicon Valley Bank. SVB, right? Silicon Valley Bank. Okay. Uh, they were kicking up interest rates uh, every month, basically, uh, sleeper waves. They were kicking up uh, interest rates every month, every two months, every quarter, every th every three months they were kicking up interest rates. Or every two months, uh, 50 basis points, 75 basis points, or three basis points, 0 0.75%, 0 0.5%, 0 0.25, the last one, right? So this is Silver City Bank. And here's a whole bunch of people that work well, not Silver City, uh, Silicon Valley Bank, Silver City Bank, Silicon Valley Bank. Here's a whole bunch of people that are working for Silicon Valley Bank. Some of them top hats, big boys, right? Top hats, top hats, top hats, right? Some of these people working here have big hair, funny hair, right? Some of them no hair, like me, right? So there's a very diverse group of people working for Silicon Valley Bank. Okay, let's bring out a green Silicon Valley Bank. If we're gonna do this, might as well do it in different colors. Eh? Should we use a little purple and pink? Let's use purple and pink because it's very diverse. Purple and pink. So we know what we're talking about. Purple and pink. There's purple dude or dudettes. And we have pink dudettes. We got pink hairs and purple hairs. And whatever hairs you want and no hairs, right? Pink hairs and purple hairs and no hairs. Lots of different people. Lots of top hat people. Now the top hat people are the same people that were managing, right? Managing. Uh, banks and funds with Enron, with the supply mortgage crisis and whatnot, right? 
same type of people same people one of them we just linked up right these people went cool we're running silicon valley bank in silicon valley california big tech big tech big tech big tech big tech let's do big tech in red so a lot of these companies big tech companies 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 right a lot of these companies were getting lots and lots of money lots of money coming in 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 why was there lots of money coming in because it was being pumped in how was it being pumped in why was it being pumped in because another thing that was happening was this in 2020 the stock market crushed right went from 32,000 30,000 down to 18,000 Dow uh, in the United States right and all markets across the board collapsed right when the stock market collapsed stocks stock market here let's put it here stocks 2020 went from 32,000 right Whew, down to 18,000 down to 18,000 it was a little bit lower than 18,000 might have been 30,000 whatever you get the gist and we've done videos on this like I, I didn't cue them up you have to follow our personal finance and math videos to see some of the stuff that we've talked about right plummeted and I think we talked about it here in this video we probably did with the m1 video as well right we probably talked about this Joe Chicho looks looks like I'm an hour late Canada was eight hours behind UK now it's seven the clock again it changed I it changed it changed one hour right and you didn't miss too much because oh well you missed a little bit uh, because we're 15 minutes late my modem kicked out so I had to restart and they did a long intro to this thing okay so apologies uh, we haven't got into we're laying out everything right now we haven't got into doing the mathematics to see what the problem was we're laying it out right now right so the layout is this 2020 lockdown everything collapses market goes down money gets pumped in money gets pumped in how much money gets pumped in goes from here to here basically doubles the money supply cumulative doubles the money supply all-time money supply into the markets right wait, 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 wait. now we're seeing a little bit tapering interest rates goes from zero to four percent quick summary and while this money is being pumped in doo -doo -doo, to inflate the stock market again woo, woo, woo. up you go up you go to thirty six thousand right up you go to thirty six thousand right what was going on most of this money that was being pumped you know Joe below here was getting a little bit me and you well I didn't I didn't sign up for none of that crap uh, because I don't want me to be dependent on the government for my livelihood or my life and I highly recommend you do not either okay but most of this money that was being pumped in was going to Wall Street companies insiders billionaires big top hat people right these top hat people were laughing it up top hats woohoo top hats woohoo give us billions give us billions it got so ridiculous that some of these people had to get, give the money back because people were so pissed right people were so pissed right well these guys got lots of money what are they going to do with the money they're going to put it in their shoebox no they got they got billions hundreds of billions they pumped in six trillion plus some it's some uh, by by some accounts they pumped in like an extra 10 trillion dollars into the markets right you can't keep trillions of dollars in your home you can't keep it in your shoebox uh you can't go out and buy six trillion dollars worth of goat gold right <laughs> top hats is close enough top hats is close enough right you can't you, you got to do something with this money right so what happened a lot of these people boop, started dumping money into banks right they put their money in banks they hire they hire they hire a lot of people a lot of diverse people 
lot of diversity going on here. Right? They hire a lot of people. Right? They hire a lot of people. They hire a lot of people. What other colors do we have? Let's put an orange. Let's put an orange person here. Let's put an orange person here. Right? They hire a lot of people. Okay. So, you see ballooning of the tech sector. Zari, how you doing? Start the stream over. I just got here. You're not missing much. <laughs> You're missing a little bit. <laughs> you started seeing ballooning of tech sector, right? A lot of companies couldn't hire people. There's no people to hire. There's sh labor shortage, right? Because they got trillions of dollars, right? They start hiring people. We need someone to be our image consultant someone to do our twitter feeds or multiple people to do our twitter feeds right someone has to dress our employees because they have to look the part right so there's a lot of excess excesses in these companies these companies used to function with 10 or 20 people working there all of a sudden they're getting uh commercial real estate they're hiring 200 people they're doing all this jazz right which is one of the reasons when Elon Musk took over Twitter he started laying off a ton of people which is why Amazon laying off thousands of people Microsoft is now laying off thousands of people Apple is laying off thousands but a lot of these tech Tesla is laying off. a lot of these companies are now getting rid of the excess weight right because the money is drying up why is the money drying up because interest rates are going up so the cost of getting money is becoming more expensive they got cheap money for two years right in the uk they were getting cheap money for 10 years in the united states and canada too interest rates were really low for 10 years right very very low very very low right just pumping the crap out of it why were they doing this for 10 12 14 years because of the subprime mortgage crisis that we talked about in the previous video they well we talked a little bit about it i wrote a lot about it back then in the mid 2000s late 2000s right they started pumping the crap out of the markets cheap money cheap money inflate inflate the housing market inflate the stock market inflate everything right free money everybody free money everybody Oh, 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 no more free money. No more fun. No more free money. Right? So before we get to the no more free money, which is what's happened with the bank runs, right? You had all this money going in to the banks and the banks is sitting here. The Silicon Valley Bank, Silicon Valley Bank is sitting here going, we got lots of money. Woo. Oh, this is not working. How come this is not working? Hmm. This guy's dead? Can't be dead. I was just using it. I guess it doesn't want to be used. Let's use this one. Oh, that one's over there. It's this guy over here. This guy started, they started getting lots of money. All this 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 money money all this money all this I could do this all day all this money all this money right now these people some of these people were putting the money into this bank and banks like it and other banks as an investment right and then Silicon Valley Bank and other banks take some of this money and they loan it out Woo! some of this money goes out to other companies new startups new companies that want money to run a business right to start a business but a lot of this money was sitting on the sides because a lot of these companies were using banks like this to do their pay um, payrolls right so they needed the money to sit there as cash because they were paying their employees all these people they hired all these people they're hired right because we're getting free money let's hire a lot of people that way we can grow really fast and beat out the competitors right beat them out beat them out beat them out beat them out right we we need lots of people to work together because we got to do better than that guy and 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 that guy we, we got to hire the big thinkers and the pretty colorful people right so they needed the money in the accounts to pay all these people 
not just these people, but these people that they had over here, all these colorful people that they all had over here, right? Should we do more colorful people? Let's do a little bit more colorful people here. Lots of these people, colorful, colorful people, color, color, lots of, lots of virtue signaling going on here. We have, I mean, if you look at the U.S. administration right now, they're not talking about the the qualifications of people. They're talking about people's colors, right? If you look at the U.K. right now, or Scotland right now, the person that most likely is going to be Prime Minister of Scotland came out and said, we have too many white people in power, right? Way too many white people control everything. We need to get colorful people. So exactly what has been happening or was happening with the corporations is now happening with governments, right? Keep that in mind. It has been happening for quite some time, but now they're kicking it into overdrive because they're in deep poop because this model is not working. I'm going to show you why this model is not working, all right? So these companies needed their money in here as cash, free flowing cash to be able to pay all these colorful people, all right? To be able to pay all of these people that have been hired. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's delusional, Scott. Yeah, it's delusional, crazy, right? So what happened with these colorful people working with Silicon Valley Bank and other banks like it? Because I think three banks, four banks were seized by the government over the weekend, right? Or three banks at least, right? 20 banks, their stocks trading was halted yesterday, right? Monday morning, okay? You couldn't trade them because they were down 50% or something like this, right? So these colorful people here went, man, we got all this money. How much money? How much money? Let me give you a link for Silicon Valley Bank because I pulled this out. And where is it? Where is it? I, I've read a fair bit. Hopefully I can find it again. I, I swear I had it here. Boing, de -de -ding, boing. Oh, I don't have it here. Uh, hold on. Where is it? Uh, very good. Fed, FCC discussing backstop. Here's one person you can follow. I can't remember if this was uh, in this. Oh, no, 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 this is the one. Oh, I'm going to give you a mainstream article. <laughs> that way people can't say, oh, this is this is not true. Oh, it is true. It is true. It is true. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. But it had, doop. yeah, here, let me give you this. Doop, be, doop, boop, boop, boop. Money, 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 free money. Not for me and you, though. Here's, here's one here here's here's an article from from uh market watch now take everything you read on market watch with a gigantic grain of salt okay do not take and by the way this is not financial advice and i highly recommend not being financial advice not to take financial advice from articles you read on market watch right in general when i'm trading i'm usually doing the opposite of what they're recommending right so if they're pumping a certain stock I'd be interested in shorting it. If they're trashing a certain stock, I'd be interested in buying it, right? So I'm gonna read a couple of paragraphs here. Uh, first, a quick look at Silicon Valley Bank. So I'm just gonna read what they wrote, right? That way we have a base uh, talking, right? So, quote, some media reports have referred to Silicon Valley Bank of Santa Clara, California as a, as a small bank but it had 212 billion in total assets as of December 31st, making it the 17th largest bank in the Russell 3000 index, RUA, as of December 31st. This makes this collapse the largest US bank failure since that of Washington Mutual in 2008. One unique aspect of Silicon Valley Bank was its decades long focus on the venture capital industry, Right? venture capital industry, the bank's loan growth had been slowing as interest rates rose. Meanwhile, when announcing its $21 billion in security sales on Thursday, SVP, SVB said it had taken the action not only to lower its interest rate risk, but because client cash burn has client cash burn, 
decline, cash burn, has remained elevated and increased further in February, resulting in lower deposits than forecast. Okay, Silicon Valley Bank estimated it would look it would book a 1.8 billion loss on the security sale, and it said it would raise 2.25 billion in capital through two offerings of new shares and convertible bond offerings. That offering wasn't completed. We're going to talk about what all what all this means, and we'll take a look at at the implications of this. By the way, apologies if I read a little bit ahead of what we're about to do. So basically, general gist was this: these guys got a sh ton of money, ton of money. Put all the money in the banks because they needed cash. They needed the cash flow to be uh, to pay employees. And th by the way, they took out a lot of loans. A lot of these companies aren't cash flow positive, so they're riding on loans. They got their loans to start up their companies at zero percent or very low interest rates, or just with stock options, right? So the banks would take a chunk of the company, and or uh, what do you call it? Uh, venture capital money, seed money, and take the stock to market and then make mint off the stock price going up as they're selling it on the way up right when the stocks get suppressed these guys lose a certain amount of cash flow because they can't offer more shares and they can't sell their stocks to top half people or the company itself right so they started as interest rates started kicking up their cash flow became less and less now these colorful people and top hat people working at Silver um, Silicon Valley Bank, when they had all this awesome money just sitting in an account, billions of dollars, by some accounts, some accounts, these people at boop, hey, where did this go? These people at wow, this thing's not loading. Poop. Oh, we lost one of the pages. That I had set up maybe because of technical difficulties we were facing unfortunately unfortunately okay I'm gonna give you an estimate because I can't I can't pull the number up no it's not loading unfortunate unfortunate uh, let me do this one more time maybe we get it oh I know where I can get it I may know where I can get it I can go to our gilded server here I'll give you the gilded link because I posted it in there um here i'll put it up in our oh here we go i want to be here uh, because i link up some of the stuff some of the stuff i come across you can go to the gilded let me go here and we want to go to the personal heavy topics personal finance i think it's in the personal finance stuff and it was just a post someone made on a forum okay and i confirmed the stuff uh by uh by reading other articles and i didn't link up those articles because this was a good summary of it right and if you go to our gilded server go to personal finance uh here's a link but it's not popping up let me see if it's going to pop up uh no good thing i copied and pasted this stuff right so you need to go to our personal finance let me see if i can link it up in our copy link copy message link there we go here we go game you can get this link right here Ch -ch -ch. apologies if i'm not reading the chat i just need to be able to get this idea across so according to the pers person that messaged this link right there's one thing that he that he mentions here so this is the important part that we're going to look at right now right and we're going to do the calculations for the bank didn't have enough customers to give loans to right so they put eight eighty billion into one point five six percent year yield ten year bonds after inflation kicked up interest rates went up went up so ten year bonds are now three point five percent yield that's the key that's what we're gonna look at right so and the sentence previous to this the problem was it's insane growth in 2021 okay uh in 2021 it had 80 billion in deposits which grew to 110 billion in 2021 okay you get that gang so they had 80 billion in deposits which grew to 110 billion in 
2021, right? This is the money supply coming in. This is the money being handed out, 0% interest to all these people and top hat people. The money coming in here, here's the money that they're lending out to startups and companies and stuff like this and getting interest payments from that, right? So market washes itself, right? They weren't getting too much interest, but at least there is a company that's giving them interest. Their money is making money. But they had all this money, okay? $80 billion of it, okay, and more, sitting there in bank accounts for these corporations that are using this money to pay all the colorful people that they hire them to pay their expenses, to pay for cost of commodities going up, inflation, inflation, right? Because one of the most important things that took place here was inflation, inflation, the target inflation is 2% for the Fed, right? It's 2% for the government, right? Let me take on this girl there. But inflation has kicked up, kicked up. In the United States, it was hit like 9%. In Germany, we're into double digits, teens. In Europe, we're into teens and what, what not. Right? Some places were up to 18% in the Western world. Some places were up to 12% in the Western world. In some other countries, inflation was 50%, 100%, 75%. Way higher than the target rate of 2%, which means interest rates needed to kick up. Interest rates needed to kick up, right? And they still need to kick up, and they still need to kick up. Okay. Otherwise, we go into hyperinflation. And hyperinflation is 50% per week, right? We were talking Zimbabwe, okay? That's printing $6 trillion notes, right? Crazy insanity. So all these people with all the money in here, these guys, colorful people working for a Silicon Valley Bank and other banks said, hey, we got $80 billion here. What are we going to do with this? All right. What are we going to do with this money? $80 billion. Let's use something darker. $80 billion. So according to this post and other posts that I've read, articles that I read, they took this money and bought 10-year bonds at 1.5%. Locked in for 10 years. They bought bonds. They bought bonds. And you got to understand the stupidity, the stupidity of what they did. Me and you were making videos here two years ago saying they pumped up money like this. Interest rates are going to go up and we're going to see an inflationary scenario. These colorful people that are being paid up the yin yang, managing money from these colorful people and these colorful corporations that are getting free billions upon billions to the tune of six trillion plus, right? Managing their money, they decided in 2021, 2022, before interest rates started kicking up, to buy 10 year bonds, lock in, lock in billions upon billions of dollars billions upon billions of dollars of these companies funds into 10 year bonds that are paying 1.5% locked locked you don't got access to this unless you sell it right 10 years and you got to find the sucker to buy it right now these guys sales are down right economies locked down they can't they can't sell the product they can't sell their products there's inflation the cost of commodities has gone through the roof because you know putin bad right so these companies are in a tight spot these companies are in a tight spot out comes the axe let's get rid of some of these colorful people 
Let's throw a couple of top hats under the bus, right? There go a couple of companies because they can't stay afloat, right? These loans are done. These guys were paid out, right? But these guys are running short of money, so they need to lay them off. Now, these guys still have to pay people. Now, th these cutoffs are happening here now, right? Last couple of two, three months. For a year and a half, two years, these guys, this heavy weight weighing down on the corporations needed to be paid, right? So they needed to access their funds in uh, Silicon Valley Bank, right? And some of the, because the stocks were going down and some of these companies were crypto companies and the crypto markets went down like the burn rate for some of the crypto companies was insane coinbase was burning through i looked at the financials uh, last year coinbase was burning through 500 million dollars per quarter 500 million dollars per quarter why were they burning through that well because they were getting free money a colorful people hired at a very high rate right office building space lots of square footage Basketball court inside the building, nice pool, hot tubs, woohoo, rock and roll, free money, right? They're burning through five hundred million dollars per quarter, right? So what happens? Stock plummets, and these guys need to access their funds here to be able to pay these colorful people. Oh crap! This money's locked up in ten-year bonds that are paying one point five percent. What happened? Let's take a look at the mathematics of it now that it's been laid out. Okay, I'm going to take all this down and we're going to take a look at. We're going to do two calculations. Okay, we're going to look at how much in 10 years these colorful people thought they were going to make from their bonds that they put all these billions, 80 billion dollars worth of. 10 year bonds of 1.5%, whatever it was, right? Insanity. I wouldn't give, I wouldn't, if I, had a, if I had a company, I wouldn't hire these guys to clean the toilet, right? Compared to how much those bonds are worth now when interest rates, 10 year bonds are selling for 3.5%, okay? Okay. Sipu Chicho, they should have been watching so much YouTube content would have saved themselves all this chaos I, I, I no the, these these people are in a bubble echo chamber right remember they're censoring information right they're censoring any discussion of anything they were censoring discussion on social platforms that these people were colorful people were participating in right Anybody that was coming on and saying, hey, maybe locking down society is not an effing good idea because that's going to completely collapse the economy. Hey, maybe pumping in six, ten trillion dollars in the market is not a good idea because that's going to create inflation. Hey, maybe putting sanctions on a country that is one of the largest commodity producers in the world is not a good idea because that's going to create inflation. Maybe it'll kill the supply chain. But these people censored anyone that questioned their actions, right? Question their actions. So, what's going on? Let's say, let's say, let's do this in this color. It's coming out nice. Let's say Silicon Valley Bank. Silicon Valley Bank. Bought ten year bonds to the tune of at one point five percent. Okay. Oh, let's put ten year there. Let's go eight let's go eighty billion eighty billion dollars worth of bonds at one point five percent for a duration of ten years. Ten years and let's say they did this in 2021 okay they did it in 2021 
So 2021, 2021, they put in $80 billion. They mature in 2031. Okay. Now to calculate how much they're going to be getting, we need this formula. We need this formula. A is equal to P1 plus R over N and T. It's the compound interest formula. Now we're not going to, the N represent compounding period per year. We're compounding once. So it's, we're going to do it simple, once a year, right? Why did they do that? Because they have free money. They, ex they thought that this money was going to continue to come in. They didn't realize that interest rates were going to go up. That's, that's the kicker. These colorful people, people managing these banks, managing people's money, didn't think interest rates are going to go up. Because, like, I, I, like, I, I really can't phantom how they could have thought interest rates were not going to go up. Right? And they thought this supply of money, the six trillion that we drew, ten trillion dollars that was pumped into the market, and people getting money to stay at home and watch Netflix. Too stupid to be able to download if you're doing that. I mean, you don't even have to anyway. Right? They got free money, might as well subscribe to all these streaming services. Free money. Woo, here you go. Give some more to Wall Street. Because they already got their bailouts. Right? They thought this money supply was going to continue. That everybody's going to flush with money. That was their first mistake. And they also didn't think interest rate was going to go up. That was their second mistake. Right? So N is compounding period. We're going to do one. T is time in years. R is the rate of interest. Right? This is the great reset void. Centralization of banking, you're going to see a lot of banks go under. The big banks most likely are going to gobble stuff up and they're going to try to introduce um, central bank digital currencies. We'll see if they're able to succeed. And by the way, it's the same colorful people managing this whole thing that they're doing, right? P is the principle, for us is 80 billion. A is what you get out, right? So our calculation here is this A, what you get out is that is going to be 80 billion one plus and they're getting 1.5 percent right so it's going to be 0 0.015 to the tune of 10 years punch this in gang let's see what we get punch this in let's see what we get okay let me move my pencils here i'll punch it in here too so we can confirm what we're getting right so this is going to be 1.015 one, point zero one, five, one Point zero one five to the power of where's my power? Hey, oh, I haven't changed the calculator. For this. this is uh, this is scientific. I want scientific. One point zero one. This is the new computer, right? Uh, to the power of ten. Boink, right? So it ends up. This gives you eighty, and it's. 1.16 right got it so this means that really you're getting 16 percent after 10 years cumulative total 16 percent interest you've got on this so you're 80 billion times 80 times 80 they get $92 billion. At the end of this, they get $92 billion. So it becomes $92 billion. Okay. They get $92 billion. Cool. I saw an ad the other day. I could be watching Netflix for free money. Oh, my God. <laughs> they need to kick off their subscription rates. Right? So they get... 92 billion dollars right 10 f in years <laughs> meanwhile keep in mind inflation right now is nine percent ten percent seven percent some places 20 percent right now in 2020 so a year later so let's put 20 
2022, 2022, right? Let's put the same amount of money in 10-year bonds. Let's say nine-year bonds because we want to end it at the same time. End it at the same time. Okay. I don't really get it. Is it 92 billion in addition to the... No, 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 no. They just made 12 billion. It total is 92. So they make 12 billion dollars, right? After 10 years. That's what it is, sleepy waves, right? Now let's say, let's say you want to buy some bonds. Let's say you want to buy some bonds. Let's say you want to buy $80 billion worth of bonds, right? $80 billion worth of bonds. You're going to put them in for nine years. Right? So your maturity date is going to be 2031 as well, right? Nine years. But you're going to put it in at 3.5%, which is, from what I understand, how it's how much it is right now can't use the money anymore because it is bond. it's bonds they can't use it unless they find a sucker to buy this bond right unless they find someone to buy it we'll talk about this you'll see you'll see what happened right so 3.5 percent I know it's this much it's actually more a little bit more in Canada right because I know someone is doing uh, short-term bonds now the, buying bonds is okay in a in a sort of an unstable period if the market's going down, you don't know what's going on. Buy three month bond, one month bond, one year max bonds, right? 10 years, right? So let's do the same calculation. A is equal to 80, one plus 0 0.035 to the power of nine. So if you, you, wanted to spend you wanted to take 80 billion dollars and buy bonds in nine years at 3.5 percent this is what you would get if you invested in 2022 right so what do we got 1.035 and there are nuances to this there are nuances to this by the way gang okay uh we're taking very simple road to the power of uh, one, uh, 109 billion. Thank you. But let, let me do this to the power of just confirm. I always try to confirm, but it's good to get the confirmation. So we get, and I want this number out of it. Eight, you get uh, 1.362, right? And that's basically saying, that you're getting 36% interest in that nine year period. Okay, total, right? Keep that in mind. This was 0.1, so it was 16% versus 36%, right? So times 80, boink, you get 1.9, uh, sorry, 109 billion, right? 109 billion okay oh you guessed <laughs> nice oh my god <laughs> so if you're a person if you have 80 billion you're a top hat person you're a top hat person Woo! not a cowboy person a top hat person you could be a cowboy person you're a top hat person I got 80 billion dollars right I can put it in a bond right now, paying me 3.5%. We're in 2023 right now, by the way. Bond might be a little bit higher. Who knows? I can put it in a bond at 3.5% for nine years and get back 109 billion. Or I can decide to buy this bond that's already a year in, right? Year in. Because if these guys are getting... 1.5%, let's do 1.5% for this. If you do a calculation a year in, this calculation is going to be uh, 0 0.015, uh, 1.015 times 
eighty. This one, <laughs> this this bond, <laughs> this bond is eighty one point. Oh, what was it? Eighty one point what? Eighty one point two. It is eighty one point two billion, right? In twenty twenty two, right? In twenty twenty two, this bond is now eighty is worth eighty one. <laughs> If you include the interest it's gotten, it's worth 81.2 billion, right? They got a long way to go. They got nine more years of this, right? I'm a top hat person. And if if I'm going to buy this bond at what these... <laughs> these colorful people bought it at. These colorful people bought this. this oh, we can't use that one color. We're going to use an orange guy. These colorful people paid eighty billion dollars in twenty twenty one, right? Twenty twenty one, and their bond is now worth, well, according to what they paid, they got this much interest on it, eighty one point two billion. They're gonna go buy another pool, right? I'm a top hat person. I can, you know, these guys are trying to sell me their bond, right? They're trying to sell me their bond. Why? Because companies. Are having a little bit of liquidity crisis, right? They need to access their payroll. They need to they need to pay for rent. They need to pay for their commodities uh, that have gone up in price, right? To make whatever it is that they're making to sell to the public to be able to get some money so they can do it again, right? So, for example, Facebook, someone posted this in our Gonzo server, Facebook virtual reality thing is not really a hot potato. <laughs> or it is a hot potato, but it's not really a hot thing that people people want to buy. You got to be some kind of special to put that thing on to look at Zuckerberg in 3D. <laughs> Yikes, right? So, Facebook took their product that was, I didn't even notice, I thought it was like, cheaper than this supposed to be selling for 1500 and is slashing it taking off five hundred dollars off the price they're selling it for two-thirds the price i don't know why you would pay a thousand dollars with that thing as far as i was concerned that's like a calculator in 1980s that virtual reality set set should be like twenty dollars right Meanwhile, these guys that are making the virtual reality set, there's commodities involved with this, there's inflation involved with that. Uh, it's costing them more to make now than it did two years ago, right? So this top hat person, these colorful people are trying to sell, get this guy's $80 billion and say, hey, come, come here, we got bonds for you, 10-year bonds. We have to sell these bonds because, because, because the companies that have trusted us with their money to keep in the bank account and we just didn't want to leave in the bank account and not make it work we got to make the money work right so we can make more money right we sort of locked up their money their payrolls in these 10-year bonds now they need access to that money some of these companies want their whole all of their money out right i think uh coinbase pulled out 50 billion dollars from silicon valley bank from what i understand right they closed their account. They wanted it all out. Silicon Valley Bank is in trouble. They need to sell these bonds now to get all that money to pay back to the people that put the money in, right? Well, this top hat person goes, well, screw you. <laughs> Why would I give you $81.2 billion to get back $92 billion? Well, right now, I can take $80 billion and get back 109 billion dollars 109 billion why would I, how much is that that's a difference of 17 billion dollars Seventeen billion dollars why would you buy this bond you wouldn't is the answer you wouldn't is the answer but these guys needed to sell it these guys needed to sell it right what did they do what did they do they sold it but they sold them at a discount 
they didn't sell it for 81.2 billion dollars they sold it for 20 percent less discount discount right so take 80 let's say 80 billion multiplied by 0.8 which is 20 percent less they sold it for 64 billion around there there's nuances involved with this by the way gang i'm just taking uh, you know doing it simple right so they sold it for 64 billion dollars probably even less 64 billion right they just took if they invested 80 billion dollars 16 billion dollar hit 16 billion dollar hit god damn right wait a second wait a second they couldn't have taken 16 billion yeah i think they did because they were managing a shit ton of money right they were managing a lot of money right because why was this a problem well this was a problem because because of the chart here svb what's svb's market cap oh snap wait 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 go back here look at the market cap 6.2 billion on thursday okay a year ago multiplied by six it was 36 billion they could have taken a 16 dollars 16 billion hit they could have taken a 16 billion hit right 80 billion to 64 billion minus minus 16 billion right let's do this in let's do this in what are we going to do it in so it stands out let's do this in dark green minus 16 billion right a year ago when their company was worth 36 billion they could have probably taken a 16 billion dollar hit but when their company is worth six billion, they can't take a sixteen billion dollar hit. They can't even take a five billion dollar hit or a three billion dollar hit. That's why on Friday morning, pre market, their stock was selling for fifty dollars. Fifty percent less. Fifty percent less. Right? Now, this is the mathematics of it. Okay. This is the mathematics of it. The shenanigans before the mathematics is the stage, right? Now, again, this is not financial advice. These numbers are not set in stone. This is me reading a whole bunch of different articles and deciding last night really to go, oh, you know what, instead of trigonometry, it'd be really cool to do personal finance and explain some of this shit, right? explain some of the shenanigans that's going on and maybe prepare people for what might be coming okay so take these numbers with a grain of salt okay the bank uh, market cap was 36 billion that we know for sure a little bit more 36 billion plus a year ago okay their deposits would have been into the uh, huge right this number not a hundred percent sure if they put they bought 80 billion dollars worth of bonds or it was 40 billion dollars worth of bonds or what it was i couldn't find one of the articles that i've read in the last few days okay uh, i only have so much time to prep for this so look into it how much how much uh, bonds someone said they lost uh, this uh that link i gave you the person said they lost um in when tr they sold they didn't sell all the bonds they had by the way you don't have to sell all of it by the way so these people that had, they bought um 80 billion dollars worth of 10-year bonds they didn't have to sell all of it to provide liquidity for the bank right keep that in mind i'm sort of going all in right they 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 might have only sold you know try to sell like 10 billion of it right so 10 billion okay. if they try to sell 10 billion of it to provide liquidity to the bank so they could pay whatever companies that were pulling their money out and make sure the payroll of companies were being satisfied they might have just had to sell 10 billion right 
Well, if they took, thank you very much for the follow, Exo Francis. Okay, they might have only sold 10 billion, but a 20% hit is a 20% hit. That means they would have sold it for 8 billion, right? That means they lost 2 billion minus 2 billion. Well, when a company is only worth 6 billion, you lose 2 billion, right? If you lose $2 billion, you just lost a third of your market cap, right? That's why the the stock was dropping like a fly. Like, what do you call it? Rock? Dropping like an anchor? Dropping like a fly that was squatted? Boom, 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 right? And then what you had while this stuff was going on, while this stuff was going on, what did we have? What did we have? bank run people lining up to take their money out of the bank i was on forums talking with people going there's a bank run they're like it's not a bank run the company's worth great its financials are fantastic they're part of forbes top banks in the world there's or in the united states they're 17th largest bank they have serious companies invested in them and i'm like dude there's people lined up to pull their money out and the doors are closed it's an effing bank run it's not a bank run don't exaggerate what is your agenda <laughs> i'm like talking with people on forum <laughs> it's like dude the stocks halted there's people lined up trying to take their money out of the bank the bank doors are closed you can't get anybody on the phone and the ATMs aren't working. That's a bank run. And there was a bank run. So what happens with a bank run? Well, the bank needs to provide liquidity to its customers. That means it doesn't have to sell, only sell $10 billion or whatever billion dollars of bonds that they had locked in for 10 years of 1.5%. The colorful people put people's money in right they probably had to sell all of it to provide liquidity to their clients right it was a full-on bank run okay full-on bank run okay and that's one of the reasons i think two three other banks got seized as well and 20 banks 20 or 30 banks uh their uh, stocks were traded uh halted for trading yesterday and a lot of bigger banks are gobbling up some of these businesses. Some of the companies are going to go bankrupt. Some of the colorful people won't be able to pay rent. Uh, supposedly they can take their money out now, but this is just a, just you know that that what's that story of the? I think it's a Dutch story or something. The kids finds a hole in a dam and puts a finger in it, and then finds another hole, puts another finger in it. How many how many fingers and toes and how far can you go right? So this is what's going on right now. Okay, this is what's going on right now. Be careful, gang. Be careful. Okay. Prepare for what is coming and make sure you work towards not allowing these colorful people and centralized power to introduce central uh, centralized bank digital currency, central bank digital currency, CB, um, D, uh, DCs okay make sure that this doesn't happen centrally back digital acronyms acronyms digital currencies you do not want that okay our society does not need that it means this orders of magnitude more not only that it means complete destruction of the economy complete destruction of communities complete destruction of our societies it may not happen immediately but that is the end game the enslavement of humanity do not allow them to do this do not allow them to do this Sleepy waves. Joseph Gentile not looking very colorful. No. Froggy Mano. The government hiking rates so much was hard to plan for if you're a bank CEO. Uh, no. 
it sh they should have been planning it. We knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. And I was telling my the, the people that come here, our community, to prepare for it. Okay. Two years ago, we put out this video, this video right here, two years ago. We put it out in 2021, February, January, February. We knew it was going to happen. You're telling me these top path people and the colorful people working for banks got beautiful pieces of paper from Ivy League universities that they paid $200,000 for this piece of paper. You're telling me they didn't know? They didn't know? That means we've got morons running the economy and the government. And the ones that did know, they're corrupt people running the government uh, and our institutions. It's a, there is no, there is no one there legit to fix this because there's no fixing this. We have to create alternative forms of commerce and we have to make sure we do not allow them to take power away from us. Okay. And enslave us because those are the same clowns that are about to do this that did this. Okay, it's the same clowns that did the savings and loan in the 1980s. It's the same clowns that did the dot com bubble. It's the same clowns that did Madoff. It's the same clowns that did the uh, subprime mortgage crisis. It's the same clowns. Same clowns. But play it past sandbox. Let me take this guy down. I hope that's clear, gang. That's the way I see it. And we've been pretty much bang on the way we see it, right? We laid this out pretty nicely. Joe Chicho, are banks allowed to de uh, decline people from taking money out? Yeah. Yeah, Joe. They say you can't take it out. In Canada, uh, this is years ago, years ago. Um, how many years ago? 20 years ago or so. I went out to the, I went to the bank and I wanted to deposit five thousand dollars or something this is after 9 11 deposit five thousand dollars or so and uh cash i had cash i was high rolling gambler right i'd be playing back gambling for a hundred dollars a game shooting pool for a hundred dollars a game uh poker we play and walk away with a few thousand dollars okay so and gambling money in canada is tax-free you can you don't have to declare in like the United States in the United States if you win money from gambling you have to declare it and pay 30 percent 33 percent tax in Canada when you win money at gambling tax free right so I went to the bank and I wanted to deposit five thousand dollars cash I had excess cash right and the, the guy goes oh okay uh, he fill out this form I go what the hell is this form he goes oh new rules came in new rules came in this is after 9 11 so it, it was like 2020 uh, 20 2002 2003 something like this i go what do you mean new rules came in it goes oh yeah 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 now it was either five thousand or ten thousand i can't remember i think it was five thousand and uh, the new rules are if you're going to deposit five thousand dollars or more you have to tell us where you got the money i go what he goes that's what you need to do i go oh really i'll go okay deposit four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars he goes, you can't do that. I go, fuck yeah, I can't. What do you mean I can't do that? The bureaucracy says five thousand. I'm not depositing five thousand. I'm depositing four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. You know what? Here's a twenty. I'll take it back. Deposit four thousand nine hundred eighty dollars. They go, you can't do that. I go, go get your manager. He goes, what? I go, go get your manager. Obviously, you don't know what you're doing. Go get your manager. You're not following the rules. He got pissed off. It was a colorful people, by the way. Colorful people. Got the manager. It, he talked with the manager. It was a he or it was a he? Yeah, it was a he. He talked with the manager a little bit before they came over. Manager comes, oh, what's the problem, sir? I go, no problem. I want to deposit $4,980. They go, um, well, you were going to deposit 5000 Well, I changed my mind. She goes, okay, sir, we'll do this for you without filling out the form. But um, just so you know, uh, you can't do this to bring $5,000. I go, I'm not depositing $5,000. I'm depositing $4,980. She 
she was. She couldn't do anything because she's a bureaucrat. He was a bureaucrat. It's bureaucracy. The bureaucracy says 5,000. They can't get me to fill out any forms, right? That's how insane the system is, okay? But yeah, they can prevent you from taking money out. You can go to a bank right now and say, listen, I want to take out $5,000. They'll say, well, we don't have that much money available right now. You have to give us a warning, right? Because I've tried doing that, right? And I've done that. You have to give us a warning. We need to prepare the money for you to take out. So um, we'll have it available for you tomorrow or at the end of the week, right? If you want to take out a certain amount of money, cash, if it's a larger sum, they might tell you that you can't take it out unless you give them a warning. Okay. Joe Chicho is called Hans Brinker or the Silver Skates. Which one which one is called that? Hans Brinker, Joe. First time chat. I need help with derivative problems. <laughs> We're doing personal oh my god, we're already in an hour. Derivative. Polynomial derivatives is easy. And the next stream we can do cheater bluggo uh, oh i can only do polynomial derivatives. i can give you a if you do chicho if you go to uh, I, i've done an intro on calculus right a couple of intros videos intro on calculus uh if you go chicho calculus you'll find videos on uh, you should be able to find them on on all these four video platforms you should be able to find so if you do Chicho, my name, and Calculus, you'll see videos. Okay. So, Sleepy Waves, do you think other major banks are in similar trouble? Yes. Sleepy Waves. Yes. Elegot. My money is in building society. I don't trust banks. No. All wars are bankers' wars, gang. Do not forget that. Eduardo, today would be okay. But are you vexed? injected uh, see what you show. what's the takeaway from the scandal should we retrieve our money from the bank um, don't keep all your eggs in one basket I can tell you that's the ways there's a reason why bitcoins have shot up from 20,000 to 26,000 in two days right uh, because people don't trust the banks and why would you why would you I don't think all banks are going to go under the major banks are going to stick around but there are and some credit unions are 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 probably your safest bet to keep money in right now okay uh, because they have certain regulations that they cannot go into very risky assets and stuff like this uh, they follow because they're cooperatives okay so but they might also be in trouble so it's all a matter of where you are okay first time chat little Ozzy when it comes to the bank run isn't the FDIC responsible for making sure that citizens always get their money back well here's the thing with the FDIC right I should have probably covered this too but no oh well we're limited the FDIC collects money from banks right to have a sort of a pool to uh, shore up banks if they run into problems Right. That's why they guarantee two hundred fifty thousand dollars in the United. Oops, two hundred. Uh, yeah, let's do two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So if you have two hundred fifty thousand dollars or less, you're supposed to be guaranteed. In Canada, I think you're guaranteed hundred thousand or hundred fifty thousand, and only seventy five percent of that. I think in the United States is two hundred fifty thousand dollars or less. You're guaranteed above two hundred fifty thousand dollars. You're not guaranteed. Right. You might lose it all lose more whatever you had above two hundred fifty thousand dollars and there's a lot of companies that had bank accounts there right they had billions of dollars and the FDIC I believe I believe their pool was 50 billion uh, they had 50 billion I, I can't remember right now they had a certain amount of billions of dollars okay that they use to cover people's two hundred fifty thousand dollars or less bank accounts because that's Joe below that's the economy really me and you not Wall Street not the banks not these colorful people right it's me and you now what the FDIC did the Biden administration did 
they didn't just they they came out and said oh no we're we're not just guaranteeing people that have two hundred fifty thousand dollars or less we're going to guarantee everybody's even the billionaires even the multi-millionaires we're going to guarantee all their money so they just blew their fucking load right do you know what that means they just emptied their fucking reserves zero they got nothing left so when other banks other banks have runs and if they have to seize them there's no money to cover the two hundred fifty thousand dollars or less okay oh fro froggy i'm not finished they'll print more They'll print, print more, which might cause hyperinflation, which is one of the reasons that Bitcoin's gone up 20% in two days, right? Why there was runs on other banks, right? Because people don't trust it. And there's a reason why they're going to try to introduce central, centrally, central bank digital currencies. Because they'll come out when there's more bank runs, if there's more bank runs. They're going to say, oh, we got no more money in the FDIC pool, right? That we've built up. That's their nest egg, right? Emergency fund. That's, that's the best way to look at it. Emergency fund, right? Then what they're going to do is going to say, okay, you know what? What we're going to do is just introduce central bank digital currencies so everybody's money is protected. Wee, 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 wee. Inflation goes to 50%. Oops, wrong symbol. Inflation shoots up to 50%. Maybe. Right? Uh, you think the FC FDIC wrote a check already? Bitcoin is evil and sucks you. Know, Bitcoin has its problems for sure, right? It's the, it's lost its anonymity. It's it's trading mechanism now, right? But it is a safer place. If you had your money in there than this, right? It was safer than that. It's safer than a lot of banks, a lot of institutions, okay. And as for the FDIC, I'm not sure if everyone's having already has access to their funds or not. I don't know, right? You know, according to the news. Everybody's money is guaranteed, even the multi-millionaires and the multi-billionaires. While it should have only been $250,000 or less. So I don't know what shenanigans are going on in the background, but I can guarantee you it's not to our benefit. Not mine and yours. If you're Joe Blow, right? Or Jane Blow. If you're a top hat person, maybe it's to your benefit. I don't know. Okay, maybe it's to your benefit. Thank you very much, Elder God five minute warning so when alibank go down all the regular people are possibly possibly story of oh story of the boy and the dam what is the story of the boy and the dam oh okay that's what it's called what's it called let's see let's see what was it called again story of the boy and the dam joe that's the novel with the storm of the boy and the dam oh i'm gonna read that i gotta put it in my long-term memory if i can where was it joe 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 uh where is joe's comment Oh crap, I can't find it now. Boo, I can't find this, the name. Oh, here it is. Hans Brinker or the Silver Skates. Okay, Hans Brinker or the Silver Skate. Thank you very much, Joe. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, that's the thing. If you don't know that, then how... How do you know if the SE blew low? Because they know we already know they blew the load. They said they're covering everybody. And no, that's a given, Froggy Man. They 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 didn't say anybody that up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars is covered. They came out. The Biden administration came out. Biden himself, I believe, came out. Janet Lennon, Yellen came out and said everybody's money is covered. We'll cover everybody. Everybody, top bad people. Don't worry. Why? Because the top hat people are the Biden administration people or the people that are running the government and other administration people, right? No, no, no. They already said that. 
it the load is blown right but it doesn't mean they're not going to fill the nest egg again with printing more money higher inflation and the odds are we're going to see higher inflation and higher interest rates going hand in hand we might be in a stagflation situation and that's going to be a rock and roll ride like the well it's going to be disco it's the 70s right little ozzy it's so sad that normal people keep having to pay for and suffer uh, from poor business people it it's it's not poor but these people that pulled the scam they're not they're they're pretty smart doing what they're doing they keep on doing it again and again and again they're multi-trillionaires now i don't know what they are now right billions upon hundreds of billionaires right billion hundreds errors how do you say that now right each time the crash is bigger and bigger indeed and that's what's going on elder god i post the link thank you very much elder god joe chicho the story of that yeah okay cool cool gang let's call the stream froggy let me read your last couple of comments show me the balance sheet then oh dude do you think we have access to the balance sheet just because he said that doesn't mean the FDIC wrote a check, bro. Dude, that I we can only go by what they're saying, right? You like you want me to go I don't have access to what the White House does on the books, right? <laughs> like <laughs> I'm just Chicho living in Canada. The check isn't written and we don't know how under underwater they are with other bands. Oh, uh, dude, you're you're froggy. You're like the same person that was uh same people that was arguing with uh two days ago, three days ago, four days ago. What was it? Friday. It's a bank run. It's not a bank run. Dude, it's a bank run. No, it's not a bank run. <laughs> Show me the bank run. Doors closed, no one can take the money out, ATMs don't work, stocks traded. Uh, stock stock has halted after hours it was down to fifty dollars it's a bank run it's done it's not a bank run don't exaggerate okay froggy we'll see we'll see joe chicho can you recommend any resources for learning about banking starting uh from the absolute basics uh joe i would say uh, follow martin armstrong uh and there's a few other people that i link up uh that uh I follow I I would say go to our gilded server Joe go to our gilded server we're sharing a lot of financial information we have multiple fol folders we have economics we have collapse we have personal finance uh, investing in personal finance and we have other folders the great reset the great awakening so we're posting a lot of info there from a lot of different sources a lot of different sources there's a few people I follow on Substack that I link up on gilded so there's a lot of fantastic writers um, on on um, on the Substack that I'm linking up. Michael Hudson is really good as well. So Michael Hudson, if you want to read more of a left-leaning uh, economics thing uh, perspective, Martin Armstrong, if you want to learn, if you want to read a straight-up trader's perspective, which is fantastic, right? Read everything. I read everything he puts out for free. Uh, he does have a subscription service it's really cheap like $15 a month but there are some stuff that's uh, because he can't say certain things because he's dealt with the government before they'll come after him uh, if he says certain stuff that's why I say this is not personal uh, finance advice this is just my perspective on things do with it what you will I could be blowing wind right uh, my pleasure uh, sleepy waves it's like you've never seen it's a wonderful life it's a wonderful life it's a wonderful life my it, uh, the people's money isn't in the banks and billionaires it's in this joe's joe's house and billy's house and all this house well it's not no more it's in the bankers pockets right small liquid small liquidity crisis i say pretty big liquidity crisis man Joe Biden says everything is fine, which translates as everything is fucked up. <laughs> Indeed, oh my God, gang! Thank you for being here. Apologies about technical difficulties at the beginning. If you want to follow this work, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com/slash/chicho. C H Y C H O. 
we do have a Substack page and a subscribe star page you can follow the work there we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e -E. for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon on Substack, on twitch on sensor tube and all the other ways that are supporting this work including participating in our guild of server sharing information and coming on our live streams gang thank you very much for the follows thank you for the support thank you for the subs thank you for being here and participating in the discussion solaris thanks for the stream i've been working in small tech and my paycheck was coming from svb yikes i hope it still gets there and uh start shoring up the problems reduce your expenses dude reduce your expenses get a job if you're at a flaky company a uh, little bit unstable if your cash your company is not cash flow positive dude look for a new position because there's going to be a lot of tech people that are looking for jobs very very soon if they're not already okay uh, just my little bit of advice uh, we do announce these live streams 30 minutes 45 minutes before we go live on Twitter minds VK gap parlor and getter you can follow the work there and for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and that podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including Spotify iTunes and Amazon and all the other ones so there I'm okay I was prepared and luckily the company was ready for it awesome so lucky so lucky <laughs> so lucky banger burger flipper <laughs> hilarious banger burger flipper uh gang thank you for being here uh, i'm glad we were able to do this i was all wound up to do it i hope you have a fantastic next few days and uh, um, we're back again next weekend uh, we'll try to get two in at least we'll see um, I do have to take care of some business, but uh, we'll see where that goes. You man, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, mods, again, thank you for being here. All the gods, salute, salute. Cheryl, salute, salute. And the other mods that were here. Gang, lyrics. Lyrics in the next set. Remind me on Friday or something, all the gods, so I don't forget again. Okay. And we're definitely going to do a current events. We've got to talk about some stuff. Uh, gang, I hope you have a fantastic week. Be careful out there. Bye, everyone.